All right, now we go with our 6,200-pound two-wheel drive trucks here tonight, making his first appearance here at Louisville out of Albemarle, North Carolina, driving the Sawmill Express. Here stands Shelton. Out of Bowling Green, Missouri, driving Jack Daniels, Danny Hubert. And out of Glasgow, Kentucky, driving that Willie's known as Willie Make It, here's Ricky Long. From Corinth, Kentucky, driving the young gun, Steve Grouse is the driver. From right here in Louisville, Kentucky, driving Stitches Also, Jim Lyons. And from Ladonia, Missouri, driving the Sprock Farms entry, Paul Sprock. Out of Evansville, Indiana, sponsored by the Jasper Engines, driving the Gambler, here's Russell Korff. Out of Bardstown, Kentucky, the lady in the field here tonight driving the Foolish Pleasure, here's Lisa Tatum. Yeah. And out of Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada, driving the Hunter, here's Adrian Hunter. From Shelbyville, Indiana, driving the Wicked Willie, and the driver is Doug Theobald. From Camden, North Carolina, the Thoroughbred, and Randy Brown, the driver. And from Warsaw, Kentucky, the Thumper with Danny Sullivan. Out of Midway, Kentucky, driving the rare breed Chevrolet, here's Daryl Varner. And a fixture, I say a fixture here at this bowl for many years, out of Warsaw, Kentucky, driving the Kentuckian, here's Wayne Sullivan. And rounding out this outstanding class tonight here, out of Golden Gate, Illinois, driving the Mopar Madness, here's Steve Bunnage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give all our truck and tractor pullers a nice round of applause here tonight. Chevrolet! All right, here we go. We're ready. Two wheel drive. Fine running truck out of Albemarle, North Carolina. This guy runs the Grand National Circuit. Had an opportunity the first time I ever saw this truck it was uh, on Motor Madness one night a few years ago or last year, and uh, saw him at Bowling Green. He did very well there. It's known as the Saw Mill Express, ladies and gentlemen, as he comes to the line here. Stan Shelton out of North Carolina, as he comes to the line right here. He'll be our test puller. Let's see what Stan does here tonight. Not bad for the first time at Louisville, Kentucky. Man, he stuffs it in the sand, ladies and gentlemen, right there. The H.W. Cole, Plum Cole Lumber Company out of New London, North Carolina, his major sponsor for the Sawmill Express. And Mr. Stan Shelton, folks, good run. Sawmill Express doing great right out of the box here to start the 243.19 Stan Shelton and Sawmill Express. You're got an alcohol motor. These are very similar. These alcohol engines are very similar to an NHRA Federal Mogul Dragster or Federal Mogul Funny Car. Very, very similar. They develop in the area of around 2,000 horsepower on alcohol. They are built just a little bit different though than the NHRA motors. They are built to run a little bit longer and stay a little bit cooler than what those engine NHRA motors and I, I must also say IHRA motors in some of their classes too. But this is a good class for alcohol here tonight in the alcohol class in blowers. So far you've got to remember one thing the main life of an alcohol engine or, or blower motor is the blower belt. 
We may see some lower belts go tonight. That's what turns the rotor. That's what pulls the air down inside the injector, mixes it with the fuel, and gives out that super horsepower. So here we come on the line right now with Jack Daniels. Right there, Chevrolet, Jack Daniels, Lebanon, Tennessee. You're right, folks? How about it? Now you'll notice that his cap on the top, he pulls his air in differently. A lot of the guys have the air going as the engine goes down the track, sucks it in. He pulls the air in from behind, his injector and so forth. And the butterfly on top, I should say, is the reverse. One puller there, Danny Hubert. So he is your new leader. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Danny Hubert, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the official distance, 232.52. 232.52 for Danny Hubert. Fired by Blowing Arius on board. A Blowing Arius engine on board here. He's got the funny car headers. This machine sounds a lot different with the way the headers are shaped on this baby here. Last year, folks, this guy right here had a real problem. He won on Friday night. They took him to the scales and he was 100 pounds too heavy. He was out. So tonight he is back. He's pledged revenge. He wants to come out strong. Let's see what he does. It's will he make it? Yeah, I think he will. I don't think there's any doubt about it. You know the old story, 20 feet from the outhouse by will he make it? Here we go. Sound like a heartbeat, doesn't it? Just sound like a heartbeat. <laughs> dragsters, she was always with that pink in most of her dragsters. Yes, sir. All right. Here we got up next. This is for Ricky Long. 223.93. That's 223.93 for Ricky Long. And will he make it? Steve Grouse from Corinth, Kentucky, and the Young Gun. Our fourth pull. The Chevrolet S10. This used to be one of the Sullivan family trucks right here. The young Gun. Again, a former Sullivan family truck here. Set to pull, looking up to the sled. Yeah, Steve Grouse bought this truck from the uh, Sullivan years ago, and he's refined it, did a lot of work to it. Let's see what Steve Grouse does now. Out of Corinth, Kentucky, the young gun. Right there for Steve Grouse.
zero zero. The official distance pulled. Hola. Well, Stan Shelton may have came back just a little bit too fast there, folks. A lot of heat built up in that motor. A lot of heat, folks. I'll tell you that right now for Stan Shelton. Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about it? Stan Shelton, ladies and gentlemen, out of North Carolina. Go forth. And uh, one night he got involved with somebody built a motor for a truck bowl, and he went to that, and man, he got hooked. Next thing you know, the guy was uh, hired by some boys out of Tennessee to be their shoe and their mechanic and run all over the country with their trucks. Well, they decided they wanted to get out of it. Well, Lyons decided he wanted to stay in it, so he built it. And when he's not truck pulling, I'll tell you what, you'll still see him at the drag race, one of the drag strip once in a while, driving a Corvette. Yes, sir. -y. The official distance on Stan Shelton, 210.46. That's 210.46 for Stan Shelton and the Sawmill Express. Jim Lyons up next in the Chevrolet. All right, Lyons up on deck, Paul Sprock and a whole Russell Corp and the Jasper Engines, the Gambler, coming your way. And Lyons getting a lot of fire up in that engine down there. On deck, Sprock, Corp, Tatum, Hunter, all yet to come here. Got a good class of trucks here tonight. Remember, four will move to Saturday night. Four more tomorrow night will move to Saturday night. So let's see what happens now. Here's Jim Lyons. Sprock up next from Ladonia, Missouri, Sprock Farms. All right, it's a 1996 Dodge Dakota. A 1996 Dodge Dakota here on the starting line for the Sprock Farms. Up next will be the Jasper Engine Gambler, Russell Corp. 
In the hole will be Lisa Tatum out of Bardstown, Kentucky with Foolish Pleasure. Those are our next two on the way. Seven for Paul Sprock and the Sprock Farm, Dodge, Dakota. Two up next, we've got uh, Russell Corp from Evansville, Indiana, the Jasper Engines, the Gambler. Chevrolet El Camino. The Gambler, sponsored by Dance Bridges and Transmission. He's out of Evansville, Indiana. Let's see how Russell does. Once again, fans, don't forget to pick up a copy of your videotapes of all of tonight's racing action or pulling action, as well as all the events over the weekend. Take home memories of the 1999 Kentucky Farm and Machinery Show Championship Tractor Pull. All right, here we go with a gambler, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Jasper Engine gambler. Tom Murd has come out of retirement. He used to wrench this machine when Kenny Lamont had it. Now, here we go, Russell Corp at the wheel. This guy goes all over the country showing this truck as well as pulling with it. Here we come, the Jasper Gambler. Whoa, right there. Just kind of chucked right down on him. For the gambler, ladies and gentlemen, don't see any liquid. Everything seems to be okay. Just flat went down on him and quit pulling there, ladies and gentlemen. The engine went right down. Blower belt still looks to be intact. Everything seems to be okay. Let's give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. How about it? Russell Corr, former mini rod driver, took over the gambler here a couple of years ago. Same job, several of the pulls where we were at. Here's a look at the official distance now for Russell Korf. 181.06. 181.06 for the Jasper Engines, the Gambler, driven by Russell Korf. High school student right here. Tatum out of Bargetown, Kentucky. In foolish pleasure. That's the first time she's ever pulled in Freedom Hall. I'm sure the butterflies are flying. No doubt about it. For Lisa Tatum. And the foolish pleasure Chevy S10. She's starting to learn all about these engines. She's learning about the logo. She can tell what's wrong to dad when it's pulling. She knows, ladies and gentlemen, she become a seasoned veteran as she starts her second year here in competition. Lisa Tatum, ladies and gentlemen, from Bardstown, Kentucky. On deck will be Adrian Hunter out of Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. And then Doug Theobald and the Wicked Willie. Best pulls been a 232.52. 232.52 is the best pull so far in this class tonight. Girl's a gifted musician, loves to play the piano very well. 
and she loves the truck pull, I'll tell you that right now. They get her all hooked in, a lot of heat getting built up in that engine right now as she sits on the starting line here. Still having problems there. Might need a little help, folks. All right, looks like they got her now. Want to make sure the chain was loose. She tightens up on the drawbar. Here we go now, Lisa Tatum, ladies and gentlemen, out of Bardstown, Kentucky. With foolish pleasure, sponsored by Tatum Auto Supply. Here's another guy who used to pull truck. Oh, man. Whoa, folks. Let's give the young lady a nice round of applause, folks. What happened? She got scared. She was going out of bounds. And come down on that tire and bang. All that water. Thing was in that front tire. There was some chemical in that front tire and bang right there. So we'll mark her distance here for Lisa Tatum out of Bardstown, Kentucky. But she really had a different technique than some of the earlier pulls here where they gradually get into the throttle. She wasn't 10 foot out of the starting gate and it was pedal to the metal. Man, she hammered it. I'll tell you what, she was not scared to drive that machine. There's no doubt about it. Lisa Tatum and the Foolies Pleasure. Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada, right here. On the line, Adrian Hunter. Might want to tell Adrian to cool it for a minute. We got a lot of work to do down here on this track. We get all that water out of there and everything. But these engines are built a lot different than some of the dragsters in that. They don't build up as much heat inside of them as the others do, but we're getting our mess cleaned up here. And we're going to shut him off to keep that engine a little bit cooler. All right, Adrian Hunter, folks, and the Hunter. Now, Adrian right. Hunter, Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. The Hunter, ready to go. from Canada and he made a name for himself here man he made a run nice run the hunter the hunter is here two two oh point seven six for Adrian Hunter driving the hunter not run the roaster and some of the roasters if you do run one you won't be able to run for points so it's kind of a wild situation another area inspired machine right here here comes wicked willie now and the theobolds out of shelbyville indiana Don't count Wicked Willie out of the program at all, man. I'll tell you what, this truck can flat put it on you. There's no doubt about it. Can flat put it on you. So let's see what happens now.
Let's give him a nice round of applause, folks. How about a Wicked Willie and Doug Theobald out of Shelbyville, Indiana. Point one two. 220.12. Point one two. 220.12, and that's going to put him in the number four spot. He is on the bubble right now. He will go to the bubble. 220.12. He came off a close to the hunter who went 220.76. So he is on the bubble, to say the least here. He's on the bubble, folks. Okay. Comes the thoroughbred out of Camden, North Carolina, Randy Brown. Well, now Theobalds are leaving the arena, and actually, when you get down to this, there was a problem down there. They go 220.97, so they are third. The Theobalds are third right now, and Hunters move into the number four spot. So Theobalds are number three right now at 220.97. All right, here we go now with Randy Brown out of Camden, North Carolina, the thoroughbred board on the line. Right there, Randy Brown, the thoroughbred. Camden, North Carolina. Will Mark, Mr. Brown. On deck, Danny Sullivan. Two twenty eight point one three. 228.13 for Randy Brown and the Thoroughbred. with Boomers Thumper Machine on the line right here. The Boomers Barbecue and Salsa Machine. The Sullivans, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Sullivan on board out of Warsaw, Kentucky. On deck will be Daryl Varner and then Wayne Sullivan out of Warsaw with the Florence Buick GMC Kentuckian. He'll be up here in just a minute. And then we close it out with Steve Bunnage and the Mopar Madness out of Golden Gate, Illinois. And right there for the Sullivan. will make the distance here for the Sullivan family. Here's the official distance now for Danny Sullivan and the Thumper. 222.55. The Thumper with Danny Sullivan. That's the official distance.
Rare Breed hooking up to the sled now to make his pull. Daryl Varner out of Midway, Kentucky, rare breed. All right, here we go with the Varner brothers. They're on the line right now. They're ready to go at you. Well, problems with the Varner brothers. Question is, did it hit kill switch or something, or we just had some problems there? I'm gonna check things out, make sure everything's still hooked up together, but Daryl already ripping that helmet off. He knows there's problems, ladies and gentlemen, with the Varner Brothers machine here tonight. We need a tow tractor, gentlemen, or are we okay? Need a tow tractor, all right. Folks, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Daryl Varner, ladies and gentlemen, out of Midway, Kentucky. And tough luck here. Let's give you a rundown. Your leader, Danny Hubert, 232.52, and Jack Daniels. Second place currently, Randy Brown, Camden, North Carolina, the thoroughbred, at 228.13. In the number three spot, Ricky Long, Glasgow, Kentucky, 223.93. And in the number four spot currently, it still looks and appears to be, let's see here, um, yeah, Danny Sullivan at 222.55. Those are your top four trucks right now here in the competition. Those are the top four. We have another Sullivan truck coming up, and that will be the Kentuckian, the Florence Buick GMC Kentuckian will be coming to the line. Your full distance for Daryl Barner right at 41.20. 41.20 for Daryl Barner. Well, Wayne Sullivan has fired. He'll bring that machine to the starting line right now. Their newest truck they have built is the Kentuckian. Don't forget tomorrow night, 7.30. Hope you got a ticket. Frank, we're down to two, buddy boy, right here. Now, looky here, ladies and gentlemen. The Kentuckian has gone to the left side of the track. Untested territory. Everybody else has been on the right side or the center. He moves the Chevrolet over to the left side of the track here. The Florence Buick GMC right on the line right here, and here we come. The Kentuckian. And now on the bump spot goes Ricky Long now. He moves to the bump spot with Willie Megan. We have two Sullivan trucks. And we wait for the distance here.
Old truck pullers never forget how to pull, I'll tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three Humpco chassis all in a row right here. Out of the Billy Humphrey stable, the Humpco chassis. Here's the official distance, a 229.61. 229.61 for Wayne Sullivan and the Kentuckians. All right, here comes Wayne. Here comes Steve Bunnage now, ladies and gentlemen. Our last truck in the class here tonight. Out of Golden Gate, Illinois, it'll be the Mopar Madness. Dodge Rampage here on the line. We'll find out the distance, but I think Willie make it, did make it. I think he'll be in there. Yes, sir. -y. But your winner is going to be Jack Daniels. Second place again. And place. All right, all the Jack Daniel people are all everywhere. Hey, a big happy birthday this evening to Kurt Biltz. 42 years young today up in section 336 from Richland, Wisconsin. Happy birthday, Kurt, today. Happy birthday, Kurt. All right. So, Hump Code Chassis made the show here tonight. Well, we're going to have the congratulations. Second place, I think, goes to the Kentucky, and the third will go to the thoroughbred. And I believe Willie make it. We'll get the distance here tonight. Frank, you got the distance yet on that truck? What it was? Okay. Let's take a look at the distance. Two one six point eight two. Two sixteen point eight two was the distance. All right. Two sixteen point eight two. Is that correct? All right. That's fine. So Willie make it will advance in the program here. Well, here. folks, three chassis all in a row from the Billy Humphrey Stables, the Humpco chassis. If you want to build a two-wheeler, hey, here's the chassis. It looks like a wave of the future, folks, right here. They've been pulling for a long time here with the Humpco chassis. Two Chevrolets and the Ford in the third spot here tonight. All right. Danny Hubert, been a long time coming, buddy boy, but you've been here before, but welcome back to the winner's circle. Thank you very much. We're proud to be here. Just glad to get to Jack Daniels in the number one spot. Man, I tell you what, I think it was a real advantage pulling that front uh, when we up the top there because the track started to go away a little bit, but I thought, well, wait a minute. Then uh, Sullivan comes along, the thoroughbred comes along. Hey, it, that, that just dispelled what I thought. Yeah, the track come around there toward the end, but it did get bad in the middle. Well, anybody you'd like to thank tonight? Yeah, I'd like to thank Seneca and the Tractable Committee for putting us on, Jack Daniels especially, and Bill Humphrey. Thank right. you very much. And Bill Humphrey ought to be real proud with one, two, three Hump Go chassis. Absolutely. And all, all right. the fans for being here. Thanks a lot. All right. He wants the fans recognized too. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Right there. Your winner, Danny Hubert, ladies and gentlemen, in the Jack Daniels machine, out of the Bill Humphrey stables. No doubt about it. Our presenters here tonight, representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, Mary Kate Gatton, and... Mike Jones representing Seneca Ag Products here tonight. And we'll get that right together. 
Well, old tractor pullers, old tractor pullers have to give their tractors up so they can pull trucks. Is that right, buddy boy? And the, uh, I'll tell you what, the Florence GMC Buick truck machine, hey, made a great run tonight, Wayne. Yeah, I'm very terrible with it. Uh, this is about the fourth, fifth time I drove it. Paul Mochini drives it, huh? and uh, he told me, he said, Pop, you drive it one more year. And I said, okay, I'll show you what to do. But uh, I'm very proud of it, proud of my family. I got a great family. And uh, here comes Dan. He made a good run with Thumper, but it wasn't good enough, we thought. And uh, Donnie come back there and told me, he said, you're going to bump us out, but go do it. Well, you certainly did that. I'll tell you that right now. So the Sullivans, the number one guys last year on Saturday night, are you starting to think about that already? Uh, we're going to give her our best shot. You know that. Well, you've been around us. I want to thank Zeneca, the Owensboro boys, especially all these fans, and my new sponsor, uh, Florence GMC Buick and, uh, and Gates Rubber. Everybody come back Saturday night and see us do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Sullivan out of Warsaw, Kentucky. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Great job, Wayne Sullivan. All right. Is this Rusty Wallace or what? I mean, this guy looks like a young Rusty Wallace, don't you think so? Start looking at him, except Rusty's got more hair. No. Man, I don't know. How's it feel to be in the winner's circle here in Louisville, Kentucky? I tell you what, I've only done it one other time before, and this, this is great. Now, you got to remember who rubbed you on your head tonight. Yeah, thanks to you. You know, you helped me out at uh, Chapel Hill, Tennessee, and I got a win there. So it's, it's going to be a ritual now. Every time you're at the same pool, we're going to do a little head rubbing, and uh, we're going to try to get there. Yeah, I, I'd like to thank Bill Humphreys, man. He just he builds the best truck in the world, and, uh, you know, well, we proved it here tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank my dad. He couldn't make it. We had a problem. Great puller. Good puller. Yeah, and he, he helped me work hard all week trying to get a new motor in this thing. And uh, I'd really like to thank Ricky and Keith Long. They've been putting up with me all week, doing some testing and tuning. And I want to thank all my fans. They wore all my T-shirts tonight and everything, and, and I'm going to give them all brand new shirts for Saturday, and maybe we can do it again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he is from Camden, North Carolina, Mr. Randy Brown. Let's give him a nice round of applause. How about it? Yes, sir, Reed. Once again, our presenters tonight, representing the Kentucky State Fair Board, Ms. Mary Kate Gatton, and from Zeneca Egg Products, Mr. Mike Jones. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here tonight. Please be careful.